everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm showing you guys how to roast a chicken, but not just any kind of chicken. I'm calling it vinaigrette chicken because I'm actually putting one of my vinaigrettes that I made all over this chicken to roast it. It's going to be delicious. Now I've made it a rice stuffing, a brown rice stuffing with with uh, lemon, ginger, and sweet potatoes inside, okay? And it's tasty as all heck. So this one actually, this is a vinaigrette that I just happened to make the other day and I'm gonna use it up. And I think it'd be awesome on chicken, personally. I mean, ridiculous. This is a pear vinaigrette that I made with a nice um, whole grain mustard from Vilux. I made it with a, um, let me grab this here for you. It's a Vilux pear vinegar. That was fantastic. Boy, oh boy, you need to try that stuff. And then, you know, it's just very neutral. Instead of using an olive oil, which would overpower it even a little bit more, I used a rice bran oil. And all of these things, actually, I got from Koala First Foods online. Make sure that you go check them out. They do all kinds of amazing imported food from all over creation. Um, so I, have my, I got my spices and my vinegar and my oil from there. So this is what's up. I have a whole chicken here. I know, I've got all kinds of stuff in your way. Check it out. There's a whole chicken, okay? My whole chicken's ready to go. And I I don't have any baking dishes left, so I'm gonna show you guys how to be creative today. And today I'm using one of these really cool grill pans. It's a stainless steel grill pan, right? Who's it by? It's by the Bistro Collection. It's Wolfgang Puck, mommy. Yes, I it's know. his 10 inch grill pan. So I'm just gonna spray it just to make sure that this chicken doesn't stick all throughout here, okay? Just for good measure. You can olive oil, you can grease it up, you can do whatever you like. All right. Next thing's next. I don't need these knives. Okay. Next thing's next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the pan, okay? And then I'm going to use the vinaigrette and I'm going to completely coat it on the outside, okay? So I'm trying to figure out what hand I'm going to use. I'm going to use my left hand. Once you touch chicken, you can't touch anything else that touched it. You know what I'm saying? And you can't touch anything else. So make sure you wash your hands with warm water and soap or some kind of disinfectant cleaner, okay? Um, now, I've touched it with this hand, not this hand. So I've got my right hand available to use, my good hand, and then I can use my left hand to turn the bird as I go. So do you just want to generously baste this all over because you want that flavor to completely infuse. Now, I don't have a ton of this stuff. Don't just dunk back in the container if you have a ton of this uh, vinaigrette. You don't want to do that and then contaminate it and then you can't use it for anything else. But this is pretty much all it's going to be used for. That's all there is for it. So there we go. Roll this over. And get every nook and cranny. Okay, I might even get that inside a little bit because I have some left. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Make sure you get on the armpits of the bird. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just dump this, the rest of this, inside this bird. And then I'm gonna wash my hands, just like you. Okay, so it's going in, bye bye. Perfect, just let that sit up for a second. Next. No, not that, so I'm gonna edit, 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 edit. I'm coming right back. Okay, so now I've washed my hands on, uh -huh. I got this moving out of the way. Okay, so I've washed my hands now, both hands are clean again, and I'm gonna dirty them up again, but that's okay. So I've got my stuffing ready, whatever kind of stuffing you wanna use, okay? You can use stovetop if you want, I don't really care. Whatever, you just wanna stuff it, but so. Okay, so actually I'm gonna do that after I season it. I'm going to season it. I'm using grinders, so I need both hands, right? So I have to do one side and then the other side separately after I wash my hands, because I need both hands to be able to grind the spices, right? My grinder got stuck. Okay. There we go. That must have been a great big piece of salt. It didn't want to come out. Awesome. All right. That's actually a pink Himalayan sea salt that I'm using today. And this is just um, a whole 
whole peppercorn, black pepper grinder, okay? Now, I'm also going to sprinkle it with just a little bit of cayenne pepper. I like my stuff spicy, just a little bit. I suggest not using garlic powder or onion powder or anything like that because it's going to have, tend to burn. Right now, I've got my oven set to 425 degrees. I'm going to let this bird go in there for a good 10 minutes on that heat. And then I'm going to reduce the temperature down to like 365, 375 probably, and allow that to finish cooking the rest of the hour. Sit tight. All right, so I'm finishing up the other side. I also got inside the cavity, which is something that you want to do. And you know, I already put some of that vinaigrette inside, so it's nicely seasoned, okay? Awesome. One more thing is the cayenne pepper. Just a light sprinkle. You don't want it tons. You don't want you want to be able to eat it, right? Okay, so now my next step is stuffing this bird. I've got a great big spoon. That's very helpful. Another thing that's helpful is make sure that your stuffing is cooled down. Now I just cooked this rice. It's kind of hot. I'm gonna have to be careful with it and use the spoon if you can, but guess what? Most of the time when you're stuffing a bird, you end up using your hands, almost the whole time. Once you start, you try and start with the spoon and then you're like, ah, oh, forget it. Your hands are your best tools and this is what's gonna help you the most, honestly, in this, in this instance. So we're just gonna dive in, there's nothing else you can do. Now you don't want that, um, you don't wanna contaminate your rice. Now if you're not gonna eat all this rice right now, make sure you split it, only put enough in that, that chicken. Now if you're gonna to continue to use the rest of this rice, make sure you put it in an oven safe dish and bake it along with that turkey or that chicken. You got me? So all the baddies are gone. You got me? Sit tight, hold on one second. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use my hands and we're gonna try and not put we want to make sure that you try and get all that rice inside the bird. You don't want a whole bunch of extraneous little rice particles on the bottom of your baking dish because they're just going to burn and it's going to ruin any kind of gravy that you want to actually make as well. If you want to use some with that or make some with the drippings that you get out of this bird, you, you're not going to want to do that if you have burned spices and burned pieces of stuffing on the bottom, etc. Okay, it's just not nice. Don't do it. All right, so in this bird, and stuff this bird generously, okay? This is already all cooked stuff, and it's gonna cook nicely in the, in the oven. Don't worry about it not being fully cooked and not being safe, because it will be. Stuff that full. Now, if you want to, wow, that's hot stuffing. If you want to um, stop the end of this hole that you're stuffing, you can put a half an apple to hold all that stuffing in or you could put a lemon, or you could put an orange or something like that too. Be creative, everybody. You can do it. Don't be nervous, guys, to try new things. What's the worst thing that can happen? Big deal, it doesn't work out and it's slightly off. And what could happen? It could be amazing and you just learn something and you're such a champion. So don't be afraid to do it. Like, you're gonna enjoy cooking once you get the hang of it, so don't worry. All right, one thing I also wanna mention, which I always mention when I'm doing my chicken dishes is that, when I cook my chicken, whole chicken or any whole bird, what I like to do is I like to roast that bird the breast side down. And the reason is, is that breast side meat of birds tends to um, dry out. Sit tight, hold on. It tends to dry out and then you get this dry meat, right? You don't want that. What I want is a moist breast. So I'm gonna put the breasts on the bottom allowing gravity to let that moisture like sink down into those uh, tissues of the breast that are on the bottom. Got me? How, what a great idea is that? Anyways, it works fantastically. So then you get to keep all that back skin. It's all nice and crispy and lovely and you just peel it off and then you turn it over and you're, you're golden. You got a whole juicy breast ready to go. All right, so that's it. That's ready to go. Don't forget, you can put stuff in the oven in these stainless steel pans. I too often forget about that. and I don't, I don't know, I don't even think of doing it. I just immediately think of a baking dish. Anyways, into the oven it goes, 425 degrees for 10 minutes. We'll see you then. So we're taking this out now. This has been in for 10 minutes. It's got nicely browned on the top. And now we're going to put a triangle of aluminum foil on top just so that it doesn't continue and burn, okay? We don't want it to burn because it's going to keep going in this um, oven for another 45 minutes or so. And when you put tin foil on top of a bird, it tends to stick if you don't have any non-stick spray on it. So you might want to do that, just FYI, otherwise you're pulling off all that nice skin that you didn't want to do that to. 
So you're just loosely fitting it over top, not tightly. You still want it to breathe, but you just want it to uh, roast without making that skin so, so dark, okay? So back in the oven we go, and we'll be back in like 45 minutes. All right, everybody. So this chicken, I brought out about maybe seven or eight minutes ago, and uh, she has been just resting here so that her juices can all, sorry, her juices can all just be retained in their fibers so when you cut into it, it doesn't just explode all the juice out. You want a moist bird, right? So look, she's all beautiful, brown, and golden, and lovely. I have my, my stuffing here I'm about to take out, and you just put it in a bowl. Guys, this is good stuff. So, I hope you guys learned something. You guys can make sure, make sure you experiment with the flavors, because this is so versatile. You can do all kinds of stuff with this, okay? Ma learning how to roast a whole chicken is like essential, essential, essential. Anyways, this is how I cook a pear vinaigrette roast chicken. There you go. I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.